today I'm gonna cut my hair. I think. Jasmine and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. So today is a very exciting video for me. As you can see by the title of this video, today I am going to be giving you my two year Big Chop update. I'm pretty sure you saw in the very beginning a little clip of me cutting my hair, but it has been exactly two years since I cut my hair. When you're watching this, it is definitely not going to be the exact day. I believe the exact day I cut my hair was February either 20th or 21st of 2018. It is now 2020 and I am very happy with my growth progress. As you can see my hair, and this hair is actually like, I honestly don't even remember, three or four day old hair that I kind of just refreshed a little. So if it is a little bit more frizzy than it normally would be, that is why. I always have my hair up in a bun when I have to work, so that's why it might not look the complete best right now. But I am very happy with my hair. For this video, I kind of just want to give you all an update on how it's doing, how I've been able to grow it this long in just two years and like what I've been using everything like that so if you want to do a big chop and you're curious to see how I've gotten this far in two years then just keep watching so as I said I did my chop two years ago and I didn't cut all of my hair off I still had probably like this ish much length I would say I can pop up a picture on the screen what my hair looks like right after I cut it but it was very very short there was a little bit of length retention just because you know I have shrinkage so in the video I remember when I cut it it didn't look like it was gonna be that short like I had a puff like an afro but once I washed it and it dried it was <laughs> It was so small, I was like, oh gosh, what did I do? I cut all my hair off. So I did make a one year update, which I will leave in the cards above if you wanna see where my hair was at exactly a year ago. But if you watch that video, going from that to this, like the length that I have gained since that video is crazy. Honestly though, I gotta say, at my one year, it's probably my favorite that my hair looked. I had the little bangs and I had this cute little puff that was like, you know, sort of like probably like here-ish on me. And I thought it was so cute and I really like that style. I definitely like my hair now. I don't want to cut it because I'm trying to grow it, but I definitely really did like it at that length. As you can see, these are my bangs now. They, they are, they're very long, um, they're not bangs anymore, and they were only bangs before because that was how they were growing, so I just kind of let them fall as bangs, and then as they grew longer, I put them on their side. So I do wear my hair at a side part, and I normally will tuck these front pieces behind my ears. If I don't have them tucked, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, my hair doesn't have like the best shape and I think at this length is when you can start to tell that I kind of cut it myself or that it wasn't cut super evenly, which maybe no one else can tell but I surely can tell um, with the length. Some of the pieces are a little longer than others on the sides. It's not very even and it doesn't have much of a shape to it. I'm not sure if I want to wait for it to grow a little bit longer before I go get it cut because I do want to go get it cut by a haircut per haircut person. What? Who says that? I do want to go get my hair cut by a hairstylist um, who knows how to cut curly hair because I, I don't trust myself to cut my hair again on my own because then I might end up doing another big chop, which I don't want to do right now. I really like my hair. If you did watch my big chop video, which I will also have that in the card above, at the beginning of that video, I did talk about my hair and the struggles I had with my hair and why I just really didn't like my hair and basically why I wanted to chop it. So my hair has grown and I feel like my curls are a lot better. They just look more alive, if that makes any sense. The only pieces that don't are these pieces here. So I think that I've just come to the conclusion that this is genetic. I cut most of this off, the ends curl up, but I think my hair just kind of grows out of my scalp 
oddly on the sides. So normally what I will do is I will finger coil those pieces after I wash them. I didn't this time because I just didn't really feel like it and I wanted to show you guys exactly what they look like in their natural state. So those were my problem areas but I have found ways to fix that and I don't mind it. And even when with wearing it like this without them finger coiled I'm able to I guess hide them in a sense with tucking my hair behind my ears. So that doesn't really bother me and I just really like the way my hair looks. I have volume now. It's not super crazy volume, but like I have volume to my hair. It doesn't look just flat and thin. I definitely feel like my hair got thicker from cutting it because as I said in that video, I felt like my hair was thinning. I felt like my hair was just falling out and I wasn't taking care of it. So I really just needed a reset and a restart. Let's get into a couple of the products that I've used that I think have been helping my hair grow. Everyone I know tells me that my hair is growing super fast and I definitely don't argue with them about that. I don't doubt that because my hair is growing pretty fast. For only cutting my hair two years ago, I mean my hair has definitely grown. As you can see, it's definitely grown pretty fast. I'm not going to show a shampoo and conditioner because I haven't had a like stable shampoo and conditioner that I've used throughout my hair growth process I just try to make sure that they're both sulfate free and free of alcohol and I've tried to find ones that are more so targeted towards curly hair or that curly hair girls on like YouTube or reviews that I read recommend them so there's nothing specific that I'm using so I don't really feel like I necessarily need to show a product because I switch it up literally every time I run out of something I try to find something better and something new to use. Now for styling products I have used a couple of different things in my hair. I was for a while using a sample size of a Diva Curl product however if you are aware of any of the drama that's been going on surrounding Diva Curl and people losing their hair and everything like that. I personally haven't really experienced anything. I did kind of feel like a slight burning sensation on my scalp whenever I did use that product. I believe it was the Super Cream, but I did stop using it. I only used it maybe once or twice on my hair. And ever since I watched those videos, you know, I'm not accusing anyone of anything because I don't know anything. I haven't experienced any hair loss or anything from those products. And I didn't use those products before I did my big chop. I'd never tried a Diva Curl product, I don't believe. So that's not, that wasn't a reason for my hair thinning or anything like that. But just because of the allegations against them, I decided for my own well-being of my hair that I was not going to continue using Diva Curl products. So just getting that aside because I know that might be a question because I do have curly hair and that is a very popular brand. But I have found some great products that I really like that are actually really affordable. I honestly don't believe that you have to spend tons and tons of money on products for them to be effective, whether that's hair care or skin care or anything. I don't believe that you have to spend hundreds of dollars on one product because there are products that are very cheap that do the exact same things. Just putting that out there. This is something that I have been using for a very long time. I have used other products you know here and there but this is something that I continuously go back to and this is the Lotta Body Milk and Honey Nourish Me Leave-In Conditioner. It says that it locks in moisture, it has continuous intense hydration, it detangles and adds shine. I really love this product. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody talk about this product. I feel like I've had this in another video of mine before. I've been using this ever since I cut my hair. There was periods of time where I would try other products, but again, would always go back to this. I don't know what it is, when I put this on my hair after I get out of the shower, after washing it, it just makes my hair feel so good. Like it just, it feels hydrated. I'm able to just leave it in my hair and my hair just, my hair just really likes this. It has always really liked this. For a while I was using this as my only styling product on my hair when it was really, really short. I could just put this in it and just go. My hair would look good, it wouldn't be super frizzy, and it just looked really nice. I definitely recommend this product. I'm pretty sure they sell it at like Walmart. I did get it from a beauty supply store and I believe it was only like five or six dollars, maybe less. I really like this product. Definitely recommend. Another thing I've been using is oil. This one has hair on it. I don't always use this same oil, but again, I like to put an oil in my hair and on my scalp. 
every so often and this one is just the Rahner Bros Jamaican black castor oil infused with rosemary and it says it seals moisture nourishes and revitalizes and strengthens and conditions for hair and skin. I have not tried this on my skin, but I do put this in my hair, and Jamaican black castor oil is said to help hair grow, so this could be a factor in that. I don't use it like religiously or even consistently. I just try to put an oil in my hair whenever I feel like my hair needs it. Normally after I wash it, I will put the leave in, and then I would try to put an oil over top. I do need to find another cream or a good cream if you guys have any recommendations for hair cream leave it in the comments down below because i really do want to test out the lock method if you don't know what that is that's leave-in oil and cream and i really want to try that on my hair because right now i only do a leave-in and an oil i don't have a good cream i'm trying to do some research and try to find a good one but if you know of a good one for curly hair or my hair type leave it in the comments down below the only other thing i have to show you guys is this brush again has lots of hair in it just ignore that i should have cleaned it this is my denman brush dupe now i absolutely love this brush i have never tried a real denman brush and it's not like they're super expensive i think the denman brush is only like 12 or 13 dollars but i found this at my beauty supply store i have no idea what the brand is because it rubbed off i think it was like annie or ann's or something like that if you have a beauty supply store near you you might be able to find this brand they have other types of brushes as well it's just like a cream color with the red and it does come off and it has the detachable little whatever these things are called brush things which I believe the Denman brush has as well but I really like this brush I do use it for detangling which I feel like most people don't use Denman brushes for detangling but I like this for detangling just because it has so many bristles and I feel like I can really get it into my hair without it like ripping all my hair out I also will start with a wide tooth comb first which I didn't bring to show you but you know what a wide tooth comb looks like I use a wide tooth comb and then I use this as well and before I wash my hair so I like spray my hair with water detangle it and then wash it so it's easier to detangle while washing if that makes sense so I use this I do use this sometimes for styling you know the typical like roll out method for the Denman brush and it works perfectly good like I said I've never used a real Denman brush and they're not super expensive but this one I believe was only like two dollars at the beauty supply store so $2, $13, I went with the $2, but I feel like it does the exact same thing and it works. So I really like this a lot. So in talking about that last one, I realized that I do have one more product to show you guys and it's what's on my wrist right here. This is a silk scrunchie. I got this in a pack of, I believe, four from Marshalls and they were like three or four dollars and I really like this this has been a lifesaver on my hair being able to put my hair up and then take it down and it not be like super crinkled or have any lines in it in weird places is awesome because let me tell you before my hair would be all over the place if I had it up too much but now I can put it down and it still looks pretty good you can also get silk scrunchies on Amazon I have been thinking of buying a bigger pack but I saw these in my Marshalls and I thought you know what why not just go ahead and get them now and I definitely would recommend silk or satin scrunchies or hair ties or whatever you like to use for your hair so I feel like that's really it for this video I don't really think that I had any like super top secret amazing things that helped me grow my hair honestly I didn't change my diet or anything there was a period of time where I was eating pretty Crappy. but I mean I've been drinking lots of water and you know the typical things that you should be doing to keep your body running and keeping it healthy so I didn't really do anything drastic or magical to make my hair grow honestly it's probably also genetics you know I'm guessing I just have good ones I hope this video helped you guys I definitely have to say that doing my big chop was one of the best decisions of my life my hair did go through awkward stages of length where I looked at myself and was like wow I don't look good right now but you know what I still rocked that hair with confidence and that's my biggest advice to you if you want to do a big chop if you don't feel the best about your hair or if it just is not the way you want it go for it maybe you want to have someone actually do it for you I did not either way 
I think you should go for it because I must say that my confidence is so much higher. I feel like for me personally, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. And seeing my hair grow and seeing the change that it's went through has honestly made me just love my hair so much more. Anyone that knew me a couple years ago knows that I just did not like my hair. I was unconfident with my hair. I hated wearing my hair down. You would never catch me with my hair down because it just did not look good. But now I love wearing my hair down. I love watching it grow. I love just seeing it. And I haven't colored my hair. I haven't straightened my hair. I haven't used heat on my hair. I have, you know, diffused it a couple times here and there. But normally I just let it air dry or I wrap it up in a cotton t-shirt to dry. But yeah, this is my hair two years post big chop. I'm really looking forward, you know, to the progression in the future. Hopefully, maybe sometime this year. I don't really know. I might go get my hair cut. I'm a little scared just because like I love where my hair is at right now, but I know that my hair needs some shape and some structure to it. But I'm gonna have to do a lot of research on that because I don't trust people with scissors around my head of glorious like I said, that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you have any questions about my big chop or you want to know anything specific, just let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can join this lovely family that we're growing here. We are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers and I know that we can do it. Okay, I know it. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I post a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. It'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description bar down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.